Hey guys, how's it going? This is where I'm camping. Camping Ayali. Ayali is the uh, name of the town here and the port where I arrived just yesterday. Another beautiful uh, day here in Greece, as you can see, on the bicycle. And just going to head out for another random uh, bicycle exploring adventure here on the island of Amorgos. This is an awesome island. Uh, I really like the looks of it. I haven't seen a whole lot so far. The uh, port town is just over here, so I'm going to head over there, just give you a quick little taste of that, and then I'm going to head up uh, this way, back up here, and it looks like there's an interesting village up on the hill up there, and then there's supposed to be some good beaches back there. So I'll just mention that uh, the campground here is a little bit more expensive than the other campgrounds that I've stayed at on the Greek island so far. It's uh, $9.50 per night for uh, one person. It's about... Um, uh, 11 dollars US then, that's 950 euros. Uh, so anyways, that is a pretty uh, good deal still to be able to um, camp and uh, explore the Greek islands here. So, alright, gonna get moving here. And the classic Greek dry, barren landscapes. Up there is the village that I'm gonna try to get up to. If the road goes that way, we'll see. I can see a road up there, so uh, I guess I'll um, probably end up coming back this way and then head up there. But first, just want to show you the uh, port town. And here's the beautiful bay here at Ayali. Some nice looking waters. I will definitely be taking a swim somewhere at some point today. And there is the town out there. It's just a small little town. And that is the ferry dock right out there where I arrived yesterday. Definitely a nice, pleasant, relaxing scene here. All right, time for me to get back on the bike there and head up the hill. Looking forward to that bike ride. And getting some nice views already. I just love these kinds of scenes. It's just so cool. I think this is definitely going to be one of my favorite Greek islands. I've been to uh, 18 so far now on my three different trips to Greece. The first one in 1990 when I was 18. Second one, and I was for a month second one in 2009 for three months in which I bicycled all over the Greek islands and then been here about a month so far this trip been to five islands altogether on this trip so far and the views are getting better you can see another uh, village up on that hillside there and Agiali down there and I think that this uh road makes a loop basically so that I can come back down that other road over there. And so this is the uh, eastern side of the island. You can see the island stretching out that way. It is a very long uh, skinny island. There's a road that goes along there which I bicycled last night like middle of the night 11 or 12 or something like that because it was nice and cool and maybe made it to uh, like the, the tip of that other little islet that's uh, sticking out down there. But uh, this is just a little section of the island that goes much further that way. And made it to the village, which might be called Galaria, 
but I'm not quite sure. Can't quite tell on the map. But uh, haven't seen any people yet. It is siesta time and the Greek villages tend to uh, empty out, especially the ones away from the main tourist area. And so my original thought was to bike up here and then bike down the other side and find one of the beaches down there. But that was a hell of a climb getting up this hill. There's Ayali down there and that other village out there. And so I don't want to uh, have to bike up it again from the other side. So I'm going to poke around here a little bit. I might uh, hike down if there's a walking path going down there just uh, to use some different muscles and then lock the bike up here and then come back up and try to connect into that other road. I don't know what I'm doing. Just, uh, just checking things out. But this is a nice little village here. And looks like this is the end of the uh, bikeable area. So I'm going to lock my bike up here and continue uh, checking things out on foot. I'm going to check out this path here and see if I can get some views of the other side of the island. Ah, it is a hot day. What a beautiful residence here. Oh, and there's a second one. Well, hello. You're doing the smart thing and hanging out in the shade, huh? That is a good idea. This is some awesome exploring. I love these kinds of uh, hikes down some random path and see where it ends up. I'll bet this probably goes to the sea. I kind of screwed up though. Made a stupid mistake that I definitely know uh, better, which is that I forgot to get water up at the village up there. I just finished off the last of the water that I had in my water bottle, so I have no water on me while hiking in the hot sun, but I had a bunch of fruit before I started the uh, bike ride and uh, just drank a little bit of water there, um, and so, you know, I'll be fine. I'd feel better if I had some water, but just got to get back up to the village there and uh, get some. When I'm done here, not sure if I'm going to actually hike down to the sea or not, see where this thing goes and how much further down it is. Wow. Check it out. Super cool. So nice and quiet. Glad to get away from the tourist crowds. And yet there is a nice uh, breeze blowing on me, so it's actually not that hot all considering. And there's the water right there. Doesn't look that far. And check it out, looks like a nice little beach down there. There are some other people there. But it's not all that much further. I really got no choice, I gotta go for it. What can I say? Looking forward to cooling off in that water. And so I think I must have been right about that village being Tholaria because uh, this Greek corresponds with that even though I don't know the uh, um, you know, their letters exactly, but P is R and then A is A. And so that looks like uh, it's saying Thalaria back up the way I came. And almost there.
Oh yeah. Awesome. This water isn't nearly as clear as the other islands that I've been to. I don't know if it's just this side of the island or what. I'd heard that the water was really nice here, but who knows. Anyway, it feels nice. It is a little bit chilly, but that's great. Give me a little invigoration and energy to hike back up that uh, hill there. Survived. Glad to be here, waiting for some lunch. I am starving. And an awesome view from the village here. And so here's a map of the island of Amorgos. Five kilometers is three miles. And so one, two, three, four, about uh, 20 kilometers or 15 miles or so across the whole island. Now I am right here at Falaria. There's the beach that I hiked down to. And so I've been uh, trying to figure out this map because it's kind of a little bit confusing. And I think I'm actually out of luck as far as taking a road from here to here. The road doesn't go around here. That is actually a walking footpath. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. That looks excellent. Thank you. And so here is lunch. A beef burger, which turns out is not... Uh, you know, what I expected with a bun and everything. All right, so I hiked up from uh, where I had lunch there, up into the village here, getting some more awesome views. It is quite a uh, exquisite little village. Classic Greek Kikladis Islands scene. And down there, once again, is the uh, port where I'm camping. The restaurant where I had lunch is right down there. And so I'm now going to walk back down to my bicycle, hop on the bike, and cruise back down that hill down to the sea and um, the campground where I'm staying there so I'm going to give a little taste of things along the way both the village and the views